Eddie, Ed and Eddie, Lost Episode. Have you ever stumbled upon something so sinister it sends shivers down your spine? Well, hold on to your seats, because today we're delving into the unsettling world of Lost Episodes with a bone-chilling tale from the beloved cartoon Ed, Ed and Eddie. Between October 7th, 2003 and October 21st, 2003, something truly bizarre happened. Episode 34 was accidentally released one week before its scheduled air date. But what viewers witnessed was far from the usual antics of the Eds. Reports flooded in of choppy animation, muffled sound, and an overwhelming darkness that permeated the screen. But it wasn't just the technical flaws that left viewers unsettled. The characters themselves seemed off. Instead of their usual playful banter, they appeared agitated, hateful, and on the verge of tears. Something was seriously wrong with the world of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. The protagonist also had a very bad lisp. No one knows why, but he spoke with a sexual tone, and that further bothered the viewers. The episode began with Eddie walking down the street with Ed. I noted that Ed was missing. There was an angular shot coming from in front of the two to show them walking toward the viewer. He, Eddie, was wearing the angry look he does when something goes wrong. His eyes were red around the iris. Ed looked absolutely forlorn and practically dragged behind Eddie, tears in his eyes which were both lazy and looking in opposite outward directions. Kevin, the serious antagonist, was riding his bikey opposite of the Eds, toward them. The shot became blurry and low moans were heard coming from Eddie before Kevin hit him, which never happened because the screen went to black. The screen then snapped back and Kevin was again headed toward Eddie. The view was so blurry this time, all I saw was a green blob headed toward a yellow one. Again, the low moan, only this time it sounded like the microphone was broken and loud static came, greatly overshadowing the moan. A claymation sequence of Double D sleeping in Eddie's bed came up. Waking up and getting out of bed, he moved oddly around the circular room, the fast pitter-patter of footsteps being the only audio. The steps' sounds were very clear, as I was shown a bird's eye of him scampering around the room. There were no visible doors. Ed began screeching, sounded like a fisher cat, as he moved wildly around the cell of a room faster and faster until the screen began blurring again. The purple room's color swallowing a now orange blur. An extreme close-up of Eddie's front door sat in absolute silence for a maddeningly long time, at least two minutes of dead silence and a door. Next, we see Jimmy and Sarah at a doctor of some sort, probably oral. Jimmy, Obstructed in view by a hanging lamp, is crying loudly with Sarah trying to comfort him in an unusually warm fashion. It hurts, Sarah. It hurts. Suddenly, the door of the room is smashed open by a new character, a dentist. His face wasn't shown because he was tall enough to be out of the shot. Sarah was escorted out of the room. Jimmy was shown. His headgear was mangled, the front bent upward, stretching his lip very high, tearing proportions. The front of his gums was trickling blood, and teeth were missing. The disturbing part was he had lost both arms and legs beforehand, apparently, and sat a paraplegic. I almost cried as I came to the conclusion the others had beaten him up and bent his headgear. The camera stayed on his mangled face for a few seconds, still as a picture, silent as ever. Commercials came on. We are instantly assaulted with a very hairy Rolf in his darkened shed feisting the cow repeatedly. The visual loops and gets blurry again as the scene pans out. Naz is reading a magazine on her couch. The quality is now perfect. Eddie is now alone, without Ed. The quality declines worse than before, and he is still walking. The sun now lightening the mood somewhat as he smiles and begins running. The door is shown again, and we see through Eddie's eyes as he reaches out and opens it. His house is nice and bright, but a very badly played violin is blaring. The only audio in this scene as he makes his way through the house. Eddie opens the door to his room. Johnny is shown under Naz's couch cushion as he crawls out on all fours in a comedic way and pops up behind her, still oblivious. I laughed because someone forgot to draw his eyes and I thought of a mole. Suddenly, I stopped laughing as he's starting swallowing her head, still in a cartoonish fashion, of course, but this was different. He and she stayed like this until she started kicking and struggling. Johnny held her like this until she went limp. A zoom in on his face revealed extremely small human eyes. Double D was laying on Eddie's floor, no longer in claymation. The camera showed Eddie's house for the remainder of the episode, about three minutes, and the next program began on the spot. So what happened to episode 34 of Ed, Ed, and Eddie? 
Was it a glitch in the system or something far more sinister? Join us next time as we continue to unravel the mysteries of lost episodes.